Hey everybody, Chewy here with Rocket League Academy. I wanted to make a follow-up to the previous aerial training video that was released during the beta. I don't want to cover the same things that were covered last time, so this video is going to be an expansion to the previous aerial video, touching primarily on the concept of meeting the ball in the air, but I also want to touch on other uses boosting in the air actually has. The most important aspects of aerials in general are timing and anticipation. You have to play for where the ball is going to be, rather than where it is when you go up. That may sound obvious, but when you're mid-match you may find yourself trying to get to the ball, rather than trying to meet the ball. The easiest way to train yourself to get proper timing in the air is the all-star aerial training. The beta aerial video is a good lead-in going over the basics of airborne control that will serve you well for rookie in the first half of pro. But when you get into All-Star, it's a completely different scheme. You have to work with getting your car to the proper height, as well as making solid enough contact to direct it into the net. Rather than going over the mechanics inside of All-Star training, I want to break down a couple of match replays. This not only gives you a good idea of what to look for when going up for an aerial during a game, but this also can serve as a checkpoint for where you're at in your own play. This first replay is pretty straightforward. The opponent pops the ball up pretty high and I stay underneath tracking it. Take notice there are two orange bars coming up out of the arena. Those are the edges of the goal. Each map has something similar, so even if you can't see the goal from the height that you're at, as long as you're facing toward the goal, you should still be able to judge your aim. For this aerial, I kept boosting until I was sure the ball would fall on top of me. Once I was sure, I waited until right as I contacted the ball to roll forward to give the ball some extra forward momentum to make sure it was going to go in the net. This next replay is a bit more intricate. It involves a lot of on-the-fly correction that only gets better with practice. I do want to mention though that Sarubi is not using ball cam here. It's purely a preference thing though. Some people can be very accurate with ball cam on, but some people can also be extremely accurate with it off. Play around with both and see what fits best for you. After he launches, he realizes he's going too fast and corrects that by boosting in the opposite direction to slow himself down. Now this is a huge use of your boost, so do it only if you absolutely have to, and keep in mind, it is going to throw you off a little bit. Once he's at the right speed, he moves himself so he comes into contact with the right side of the ball. This is a tricky thing to judge considering the ball is moving both down and toward him. At this point, he is trying to position himself so he can turn into the ball to make solid enough contact to push it into the net, which he does. This last replay is a defensive aerial. You may not get much power behind the ball with something like this, but it should be enough to throw off the pacing of the other team. Cookie, noticing that if the ball would get past him, the other team would have a solid look at the net, jumps up to interrupt the shot. It is important to note that he uses his second jump as well as his boost to get him higher, faster. When he makes contact, he pushes the ball back to the right, hoping to completely clear the defenders, but altogether his team is in much better shape after the aerial than they would have been had he sat on the ground waiting for the ball to come. So that's going to do it for this installment of aerial training. Focusing on the air is something I'm going to come back to over time, and I'll put more and more in each time. I don't want to overload any one video with too much information at once. It's my mission to give you all bite-sized, informative videos that you can take and immediately apply into your next game. So with that being said, if there's any portions of aerials that are particularly tricky for you to get nailed down, let me know in the comments. And don't forget to head over to rocket-league.com for community tournaments, teams, videos, and news. And special thanks to Cookie and Sarubi for allowing me to use their footage for this video. Links to them and everything else in the description below. As always, for Rocket League Academy, I'm still Chewy. Good luck, have fun.